we're back at it again with another video. So for today's episode of Learning with Dumara, we're going to learn some few things about our national artist, the Secrecy. Jose Garcia Villa is a Filipino poet, critic, short story writer, and painter who was born in Singalong, Manila on August 5, 1908. Villa was first interested in painting but turned to writing after reading Sherwood Anderson's Weinsberg Cujillo. He used the pen name Dove Leon derived from Dove, Eagle, and Lion based on the characters he derived from himself. Villa first published Philippine short stories, past 25 short stories of 1928 and 1929 that were mostly published in the literary magazine Philippine Free Press for that year. In 1929, he published a collection of erotic poems called Man Songs. This collection was met with some controversy, but that same year, he was selected for the best story of the year from the Philippine Free Press magazine for his story called Mir Ignisa. With the 1,000 passes he won as a prize, he migrated to the United States and published a mimeograph literary magazine he founded, Clay. His first collection of short stories were published under the title Footnote to Youth in 1933. It is said that it is a footnote to youth because it is a brief reminder for the Filipinos, especially the youth of what a real life could be today. It also indicates the sources or the causes why you at this rate. While in 1939, he published many voices, his first collection poems, followed by poems by Dov Leon in 1941. Among his popular poems include Centipid Sonnet, which is an example of his comma poems. As he explained in the preface to his volume 2, the commas are an integral and essential part of the medium, regulating the poem's verbal density and time movement, enabling each word to attain a fuller, tonal volume and line movement to become more measured. Second is a sonnet in polka dots, which is composed of capital O's. And lastly, the Emperor's New Sonnet, which is basically a blank sheet of paper. During the release of Have Come Am Here in 1942, he introduced a new rhyming scheme called Reversed Consonants. As Villa explained, the last sounded consonants of the last symbol are the last principal consonant of a word or reverse for the corresponding rhyme. Jose worked as an associate editor at New Directions Publishing in New York from 1941 to 1951. In 1968, he became the advisor on cultural affairs to the President of the Philippines. During the United States formalist period in literature, American writers admired Villa's work. Through the sponsorship of Conrad Aiken, noted American poet and critic, Villa was granted the Guggenheim Fellowship Award in Creative Writing. He was also awarded $1,000 for outstanding work in American literature. Jose was confirmed the degree Doctor of Literature Honoris Causa by FEU in 1959. 
and was also given the Pro Patria Award for Literature in 1961. And most especially, Villas won the 1973 National Artist of the Philippines for Literature. His work in both poetry and challenging traditional poetic style continues to have an impact in modern poetry, both for members of the poetry community and other Asian American writers. Villa was considered as a powerful literary influence in the Philippines throughout much of the 20th century, although he had lived most of his life in the United States. His writing style as well as his personality and staunch opinions on writing has often made him considered as an eccentric. Villa died at the New York hospital two days after he was found unconscious in his apartment on February 7, 1997. He was 88. Once again, he is Jose Garcia Villa. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you next week.